Good morning, good morning, Mr. Justice. I just see you showing up. This is Dr. Life Early Money Unlimited Inspiration with your team, me, Adedoku. It's another day, it's another opportunity. Another privilege to correct your wrong, another opportunity to tell the world that you are the one that they are looking for. You are the one that the world is looking for. Another opportunity. Day unto day, utter speech, and night unto night, show forth knowledge. When you show up, when you wake up, when you speak up, it's a seed into your destination. Hey, that hey, don't worry, world. I am here. I am the one. I am the person. We can make it happen. So today, the 30th day, celebrate with Mr. Justice, the 30th day of the month of uh, <clears throat> October. Two things I wanted to know as we proceed this morning. The book that I wrote for Bishop David Erekbo, it's about to be printed. We are working on it seriously. If you know you're listening to me right now, you can put, you can help people to put book on Amazon. Please let us know because the soft copy is ready. It's with me and I need somebody to help me. I try to figure it out I can. So the hard copy is coming very soon. I will let you know once it's out. So, wherever you are around the world, wherever you are around the world, I want you to know this. I want you to know that you are needed. The world needs you. If anybody commonize you, if anybody close their door against you, don't worry about them. Go somewhere else. If they, don't, if they decided not to need you today, they will be looking for you for the rest of your life. So this morning, I want you to proceed. I want you to move. But... There is no time to check time. Checking of time is wasting of time. If you know you are yet to register for the Total Women Masterclass, please, I want you to wake up from the slumber and let us get this to done. Many people have registered and many are yet to register. If you are among those many, please, I want you to please just, you know, just... Just stand up and uh, go and register right now. The amount in, in Naira has been reduced. If you check the link, please, I want the link up, please. On, you, on Facebook, uh, sorry, on um, YouTube. If you check the link right now, the amount has been reduced. So leverage on it and uh, let's, let's get started. Why you still uh, thinking about register or not register for the Total Women Masterclass, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your love, for your care, for everything that you have said to do that nobody can checkmate you, for everything that you decided not to do that nobody can push you. You are God and you are God by yourself. You don't need a vote. Your, you, your throne is forever. Your words outlast, outlive, and go ahead and come behind us. You are who you are. Thank you this morning for the 30th day of the month of October. It's tough, it's painful that we need to wake up again and do this. Our voice has changed, there's a crack in the voice, all just because we are tired. But in our tired stage, we come to you asking for strength that you should please, Lord, help us. And I know that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Father, as we come to you this morning, please, Lord, please, Lord, strengthen us. Please, Lord, please, Lord, strengthen us and take our, our feeble leg and walk up to the heel of life. Take our, our, our dying hand, tiny hand, and write the, the, the vision down as the vision comes to pass very soon. We pray that every here hearing me right now shall be blessed. Anyone confused will know what to do. Those who know what to do will receive focus, ability to keep moving. That at the end of it, to even today, everybody we have, we know that their time invested, it's a blessed time. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.
Thank you and thank you and you know why people are afraid that people are hungry is because you don't know what to do. If you know what to do, you will never join them to complain. In all things, in all things, in all things, in all things, fill in the gap, give thanks. That is the will of God concerning you. There might be, pan there might be pandemic, but there is, there is God. No matter what it is, there is God. I'm up. No matter what it is, there is God. Let that rule your life. Let that be the yastic that you talk to you talk to life today. Let it be the platform. So talk to life, talk to life, and talk to life. Talk to life. Please, wherever you are around the world, join me as we, as you help us out. Invite one person to join you today. Tell one more person to come and hear you today. You know, it's sharing is caring. That's what people think. But in my study, I've come to understand that sharing is not just caring. Sharing is living. Are we on YouTube? So... This morning, sharing is not just caring. Sharing is living. When you share, you breathe life. Breathe life. You breathe life. So this morning, I come to ask you. Are you breathing life? Or you are taking life? This morning, I come to ask you. <laughs> Are you breathing life or you are taking life? Listen, it's a choice, but this choice, you pay for it daily, daily and daily. Why you are inviting people, why you are still making it happen, I want you to know that uh, greatness <laughs> is on the platform of devotion. So today, I'll be sharing with you on the subject of devotion. Subject of devotion. What is devotion? What are the things you need to know about devotion? What are the consequences of not being devoted? So, let's give us a 30 seconds break as we proceed to him. To you know, to invite other people to join us. Thank you. Welcome back. This is Talk to Life. Early money, unlimited inspiration. With Roti Mi Adedokun. So, yesterday was a very, the shortest message I prayed. 
Or did I say preach? No, that I shared with. Because I was tired, I need to sleep. Actually, I recorded it like 30 minutes before time. So yesterday, if you are wondering what happened, nothing happened. It still talked to life. <laughs> still talked to life. Let's see what we can do today, uh, even as we proceed to, you know, to get the best of what we are bargaining for. For everyone that has been consistent, that has been there with us, or been there for us, and has been selling this out to make more people to watch our program, our podcast, I want to say thank you. Thank you, know that you do. Thank you, 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 thank you. So why saying thank you? I'm saying thank you because I think you deserve it. I'm saying thank you because uh, you are the best. I'm saying thank you because... Uh, no matter what you think that you know how to do, until God sends some people into your life, you might never see it happen. They are kings, I believe, but they are kings maker, I say. No matter the level of kingship, if there's anyone like that, <laughs> that is in you, there will never be any Moses without, any, without Jethro. There will never be any Joshua without Moses. Esther will never make it to the palace without Mordecai. Remove Naomi for me, then I tell you there is nobody called Ruth. The responsibility of Elijah is what I give back to Elisha. You cannot be by yourself. You can't crown yourself. You cannot mentor yourself. Anyone that ever go ahead is because it's standing on the shoulder of some people. So this morning, a simple question. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So let's switch gear. Thank you, Jesus. In Luke chapter 21, verse 38, Luke chapter 5, verse 15, and Mark chapter, 30, chapter 1, verse 35. I'll say that again. Luke chapter 21, verse 38. Like I said, this is not going to be a long teaching again. It's going to be in the next 30 minutes. I'm going to be off. And we're going to replay it. So I'll try as much as possible to be concise and to be, to be on point. I will say I was going to use those scriptures again. Luke. Chapter 21, verse 38, Luke chapter 5, verse 15, and Mark chapter 1, verse 34. The Luke chapter 21, verse 38, the Bible said, All the people, think about that, all the people came early in the morning to hear him in the temple. They came to him in the, in the temple early in the morning to hear him. Luke chapter 5, verse 15. Uh, he said, uh, but so much the more when they fame abroad of him, and a great multitude came together to hear him and to be healed by him of their infirmity. And much more, Mark 135. So in the first two verses of the scripture that I read, they came to Jesus. So what happened in Jesus? Where does he get his energy from? Where does he get those miracles that he performed from? One, Mark 1, Mark 1.35 says, In the morning, rise up a great while before day. He went out and depart into a solitary place to pray. I'm sharing this morning on the subject of devotion. Devotion, tell me a car. Thank God we have a car who runs on battery, who runs on solar. But there's always been a car who runs on gas. Who runs on fuel? Well, let's say technology is coming right now, and there is now a car that runs on water. A time is coming that they will just put something in water. It's going to be in new gasoline. A time is coming. Go and write it down. But the question I'm coming to, or the solution, or however you want to put it, something must run on something. For something to keep working. That's the way I'm going to put it. Put it just like that. 
Something must run on something for something to keep working. Something must run on something for something to keep working. Something must run on something for something to keep working. I want you to know you are limited. I want you to know that you cannot... I want you to know that you cannot go far in life doing something by yourself. Help me to write this down. Something must run on something for something to keep working. You need a gas. You need a support. They came to Jesus, but Jesus went to the Father. So they came to Jesus to draw the strength for their healing, for their day to be better. But Jesus, before the people showed up, they go to God, went to God, and draw from God. So devotion, in my word, is simply drawing from the invisible to be able to live a complete and a, and a profitable live, uh, physical life, or visible life. Devotion is drawing from the invisible so you can live a reasonable and a complete visible life. It is no more news that the spiritual run the physical. It is no more news that uh, you can only go as far as you can see. But something must empower your eyes. But something must empower your thought. What am I saying today? You need to draw from the invisible if you want your fist your visible life to be complete and be reasonable. Remove devotion from it. You'll be demoted. Wow, I love that. Remove devotion from it. You'll be devoted. Remove devotion from it. You'll be demoted. Why many marriage go down south why many people who have a lot of money and they go out is because once you disconnect, you are by yourself. I love that. Without devotion, you'll be demoted. Once you disconnect, you are by yourself. Something must run on something for something to keep doing something. Filling the gap for something. So for you to be a successful a fulfilling, a rewarding woman being, a wife, a husband, a pastor, a minister, you must know where you are drawing from. Today, for example, is 152 days. 152 days. They have been showing up here every day. Where do you think that comes from? When I fly, I feel from Tulsa to San Antonio to pastor there for two years. Where do you think that is coming from? When I drove from San Diego to, Cal to, to Los Angeles for almost one year, where do you think that energy is coming from? When I drove from San, uh, what I call it, Tulsa to Oklahoma City in Oklahoma, where do you think that energy is coming from? Let me tell you something. Once you see somebody doing something extraordinary, it's because they are drawing strength from what? The invisible. So write it down. The secret to an extraordinary living is invisible. Help me to write it, please. The secret to an extraordinary living is living what? An invisible life. Your invisible living. Oh, so let me take it back. The, your connection to the invisible is your confidence level that makes you to live a visible life. Your confidence level can only go as high as your connection with the invisible. Your confidence level can only go as high as your connection with the invisible. Your confidence level may go as high as your connection what with the invisible. When the Shinakeribu came to come and take everything that belonged to Ezekiah, when Ezekiah came and the Lord said, Hey, don't worry, he will not shoot an arrow here. Look. 
Once you hear from God, your word will listen to you. If you can hear, no matter this, write this down. If you run today, you will run tomorrow. If you run today, you will run tomorrow. The fight that you don't fight today, you don't erase the fight, you postpone it. The fight you don't fight today, you don't erase it, you postpone it. Postponement is not erased. So, face, the, face your fear, fight your fight. 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 That is the word today. Face your fear, fight your fight. Your confidence level rises at your connection with the invisible. What people don't see is what will make you to lead. Your connection with what they cannot see. Do you know why people don't have respect for God? Because they don't believe in invisible. You will see somebody that is diabolical if they needed power for politics, if they needed power to be anything, to be the, the most powerful person. Where I came from, they can sleep in burial for seven days. But a, a, a Christian cannot pray to God for seven days. Somebody who needed a power to be in charge on this earth can be without... Let me tell you something. Even in the realm of the spirit, the, I'm just standing to tell you that the denier, until you are ready to deny yourself and connect with the invisible, your living will be limited. Your life will be limited. If somebody tells you that word is a lie, the devotion with the invisible, your connection with the invisible, and your bonding with the invisible. You can't keep your marriage without invisible God. Your, without your relation with the invisible. You cannot sustain your financial power. With, but as you are working, some people have devoted something in the realm of the spirit to bring a, you know, a, 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 a link. As the money is coming out, money is going out. So you realize that your 15 days of work has no evidence. Your 30 days of work has no what evidence. Listen to me. If you want to live an extraordinary life, you must be ready to connect with what? With the invisible God. If you want to live an extraordinary life, you must be ready to connect with the invisible God. For you to live an extraordinary life, you must be ready to connect with the invisible God. For you to live an extraordinary life, you must be ready to connect with the invisible God. For you to live an extraordinary life. Ordinary life, you must be ready to connect with the invisible God. <laughs> Think about that a minute. See, your level of connection with the invisible God will determine your level of the kind of life that you live. Do you want a life? Do you want to live a life that your impact will be felt forever? Then you need the connection. Then you need a connection. Then you need a connection. Then you need a connection. For you, I will say it again, for you to live an extraordinary life, you must be ready. You must be ready to connect with the invisible God. Why? As we proceed this morning, what is devotion? Number one, devotion is a ritual, not a doctrine. Doctrine are the principle, are the things that you do. 
Doctrine are the things that you do daily. Doctrine are the things, are the principle, the way things are supposed to be done. But ritual are the things that must be done for you to retain your place. It is not an advice, but a must. You don't advise on rituals. You can give advice on doctrine. One of the rituals of flying is that these are buttons that you must press if you want to remain yourself at the top. Your failure to keep those buttons on, what happened? Your plane is going down. So wherever you are around the world, listen to this. You cannot sustain your hope unless you are what? You are in tune with some command, with some mandatorism. Let me, let me change that. You cannot sustain you flying unless you are in tune with what? With some rituals. And one of the rituals of life, I call the ritual of devotion. Your connection with the invisible. That is what I call devotion. Your connection with the invisible. Your connection with the invisible. What then is devotion again? Devotion is uh, your responsibility to, re to retain your, your, your relationship with the invisible to live a daily profit life. Your responsibility to retain your connection your responsibility to retain your connection <laughs> and make your living a daily living profitable your responsibility to retain your connection and making your daily living profitable. Your re it's a responsibility to know what God has for you today. Prophet Habakkuk said, hey, I will stand my watch and I will listen to see what you say to me. And he said, hey, write the vision. Did you see that? There will never be an instruction to write the vision if there is no false instruction to what? To position for it. Some people say, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But you tune to YouTube every day. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. But if somebody tells you right now something, what you do first is to go to Google. Why can't you God it instead of Google it? I wrote an article like that a long time ago. God it. Don't Google it. God it. Don't Google it. God it. Don't Google it. Let that be a word that somebody will live by. So, number one, I said, devotion is your ritual not a doctrine. There are things that you must do for you to keep, you know, keep real relevance. And number two, I said devotion is your responsibility to retain your connection with the invisible, thereby making your daily living profitable. I will say it again. Devotion is your responsibility to retain your connection with the invisible, thereby making your daily living profitable. Get that. Number three, what is devotion? Devotion is drawing on divine supply to live a fruitful day. Wow, I love that. Devotion is drawing to draw. As you go to the gas station to refuel, I think that's another what to do. It's drawing your refuel. From daily supply, you're drawing on daily, on divine supply, sorry. Drawing on divine supply to live a fruitful day. Number four, what is devotion? Devotion is depending on heaven, heaven. Heaven's help to live an intentional life. 
Wow, that is powerful. Depending on heaven. Depending on heaven. Depending on heaven. Depending on heaven. Heaven said to live an intentional life. So you cannot be deliberate or intentional more than what you depend on heaven to help you to do to be one. Number five, devotion is trusting the higher power of God. You know, people use higher power, higher deity a lot. That can be for anybody, but I have you know, I just want you to know that depending on higher power, in bracket, God, in God, the creator of heaven and earth, to discharge your daily responsibility. To discharge your daily responsibility. What is or what are the nuggets of devotion? One, devotion must be daily. Did you hear that? Devotion must be daily. Devotion must be daily. Devotion must be daily. Devotion must. It's a must. Must be daily. Today is 152 days. You know, I've even tired some people. Somebody told me, he said, Pastor, I cannot. He said, I'm the one watching you, yet I can't keep up with you. <laughs> I love that. No, if you can keep up with me, I'm not qualified to lead you again. Some of you, you have a vision, but you cannot reimburse your spirit. That's why you are down. If you cannot pursue it again because you are... You are not connected again. Help me to write it down like that. If you cannot pursue it again, it's because you are not connected again. Don't think one time vision is enough. No. Vision is a continuum process. You have to keep friendly. Because vision is not yours. Somebody gave it to you. So I have to keep going to that person to refuel. Not to disturb the person to give you a new vision, but to refuel for connection. You have to refuel for connection. You have to what? Refill for connection. You have to refill for connection. We have to refill for connection. You have to refill for connection. You, have, you know, vision is not a one-time thing. Every vision needs a refill for connection. Every vision needs a refill for connection. It's not one-time thing. Put it out there, please. Vision is not a one-time thing. Vision needs a refill for connection. For example, right now, if I have not developed the capacity, I will be thinking the number of people who watch my video will determine if I will come back or not. Like I said, close it right now. Everybody looking at me. You can close your, your, your web browser right now. Guess what? In the next 30 days, come back. You will still see me here. <laughs> so, I am delivering to you, but I am not responsible to you. If somebody can talk you out of your vision, that means you are not qualified to run it. Let me to put it out like that. If somebody can talk you out of your vision, that means you are not qualified to run it. Every vision must be run, not based on the delivery, but based on the instruction. Who instructed you? Who tells you to go? On what words are you trading? You know, we live in a world, especially in this world that we live right now, that uh, <laughs> no time to check time. If you are expecting from people to just uh, meander into you, it's not going to happen. Do you know what it is to be here every day for five months? I mean five months. I mean five months. You know, just like yesterday. I mean five straight months. You don't understand. It's not once a week. Maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't show up here once a week. I show up every day. Every day. Ah. <laughs> well, this is not pride. I'm just celebrating what God can do through a man. So I'm trying to tell you the same thing. If you are waiting... It's not good. Don't wait. Push. So, devotion must be daily. So, if you are, like I said, you get a vision now and you run away. No, 
you have to keep the connection for the few. Number two, devotion is a daily manner. Listen, give us this day our daily bread. Not give us this week, give us this month, give us this quarter, this um, bite yearly and a year. No, no, it's a daily. It's a must. Number two, it's a daily manner. You feed every day. You feed every day. Number three, devotion is not optional. It's a must. Did you hear what I said? Devotion is not optional. It's a must. It's a must. And devotion, number four, must be continuum. Devotion, it's a must. Number three, devotion is a must. And uh, devotion must be continuum. 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 It's a continuum. That means a continuum process. You don't stop. Don't stop. Let me give you one more. One more. One more nugget. As a devotion, it uh, must be daily, must be daily manner, must be, it's not optional, but it's a must. It must be continuum. Number five, as a devotion, is a divine support system. You know, in chaplaincy, there's what we call support system. Oh, is this patient have some uh, pastor? He has some church member that he have family. Does he have people? Is he belong to a particular? You know, this is what we call support system. Okay, if we are not here, where do you? What the people you talk to? You, you know, we want to see how you process. You know, things like that. In the same vein. I want you to know. That without a support of heaven, earth will suffer. Let it be up. Without the support from heaven, earth will suffer. Without the support from heaven, earth will suffer. Without the support from heaven, of heaven, sorry, earth will suffer. So what am I trying to say? If God should fold his hand one minute, and watch devil deal with you, you'll be surprised. Go and ask uh, Samson. Hmm? Go and ask Samson. It's without the support. Please. I don't know who's typing that thing to wake up. Without the support. Without the support, not with support. Without the support of heaven, earth will suffer. So, devotion is a divine support. A divine system, sorry. Divine support system. I'll take that again. Devotion is divine support system. You have to engage it. Engage it. Engage it. As the first one, engage it. Devotion must be continuum. Don't stop it. Don't stop. So, devotion is not optional, it's a must. Keep doing it. Keep it. I'm trying to use two words for, this, for each one of it. So, now I start from number five. Devotion is the device support system, engage it. I move to number four. Devotion must be continuum. Don't stop. Number three, devotion is not optional. It's a must. Keep it. Devotion is daily manner. Feed. Keep feeding. Keep feeding. And devotion is daily. Keep on. <laughs> I'm just looking for two words to, 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 to push those two. Okay, as we proceed tonight or this morning, what happens if you are not devoted? Number one, without devotion, you'll be stranded. 
If devotion is a supply, you're refilled. Without it, you'll be stranded. Number two, without it, you'll be empty. There's nothing. If there is nothing inside, there will be nothing to show outside. You'll be stranded. You'll be by yourself. Because only if God is for you, who can be against you? So, this is how I understand the Bible. Turn it around. If God is not for you, everything will be against you. The weather will not support you. The people will not support you. Morning will be against you. Afternoon will be against you. Evening, night. You have to understand it that way. So, number two, without devotion, you will be empty. So, absence of devotion equals emptiness. I love that. Put it up. So emptiness is the end result of absence of devotion. Number three, without devotion, you'll be lonely. Because devotion is drawing heaven to support earth. So when heaven is not in, in the present, what happens? Earth will be by itself. <laughs> Put it up like that. When heaven is not in support, earth will be what? Will be alone. Or when heaven is not invited. Earth will be alone. Is that not simple? So, without devotion, loneliness becomes the order of the day. Number four, without devotion, you will miss out. Day unto day, utter speech. Hmm? Every day, give us this day our daily bread. So there is something that has been probably cooked in heaven. If you don't take it, you, you lose. If you don't take it, you lose. If you don't take it, you lose. <laughs> Let me put it again. Earth will lose when not engage heaven. Earth will lose out when heaven is not engaged. I love that. You miss out without devotion. When you don't ask God what he has for you today, then uh, you will be empty when you will need what you when you when you are when you will need what you need for today. Hey, I love that. Whew. Don't even know what I say again, but I need to always uh, help me. You will miss out when you are in need of what you need for the day. You are by yourself. Okay, let's assume maybe you need a thousand dollars. And you have to take that thousand dollars for you to be in possess of it, in possession of it, so you to go and engage and do whatever you want to do. So if you don't take the one thousand dollars, then what happens? You don't have it, and if you don't have it, you can't spend it. <sighs> you know that is why many people lack today because they've not received what they needed for the day. So devotion is receiving what you need for the day. So you will not be what? <laughs> you will not run out of resources. Devotion is receiving what you need for the day. So you will not run out of resources. I don't know who is listening to me right now. Until you receive what you needed for ministry, you will run out. Until you receive what you needed for marriage, you will run out. Until you receive what is needed for your for raising your child, for your finances, you will run out. Because we live in a world of you are dispensing each day. Every day by day, something is leaving you. Something is leaving you. But you need a continuous what? Refuse. That's why we call it devotion. Number five, devotion. Without devotion, you'll be disconnected. Because the farther you are from God, the farther you are from the invisible, the more. You are by yourself. 
That's why the book of Romans chapter 8 said, I think from verse 4, 4 5, 6, he said, the enemy of God is a friend to the world, and the friend to the world is enemy of God. On that note, let me round up this morning. This morning on five things to do to maintain your devotion and to keep your connection. Five things to do to maintain your connection and keep your devotion. Number one, be ready to connect daily. Ready to connect daily. If somebody has worked so hard to prepare a meal for you, I think you should work so hard to eat that food. At least you get the daily set. At least you should draw your own table, your own chair, I mean. I mean, you should, you should say good morning to that person. I mean, you should commend the effort of that person. That I call your readiness to connect. Number two, ready to receive. No matter what is given to you, what is available to you, you must be ready to what? To receive it. Your readiness make effort meaningful. Your readiness, your readiness make other people's effort meaningful. Your readiness makes other people's effort what? Meaningful. Your readiness makes the effort of others meaningful. So you can become rude to somebody who you are not ready to receive their, you know, their investment in your life. Number three, ready to commune. Commune simply means you are talking, say, God, I'm here. Again, this is me. I've missed it here. Please. I'm doing good here, but I need more energy to keep doing. You come in, and God will tell you, hey, relax. Read here. What about here? What about here? What about here? You come in, you talk. You know, you develop a good relationship by communication. Okay, I'll say that again. Good relationship is on the platform of what? Effective communication. Put it out there, please. Good relationship. Is on a platform of effective communication. Good relationship is on the platform of effective communication. So number one, be ready to connect daily. Number two, be ready to receive daily. Number three, be ready to commune daily. Number four, be ready to dialogue daily. It's good to commune. It leads to dialogue. Dialogue is a senior level of communicate, communion. Dialogue to say, hey, this is what I'm going to let go, God, but I want you to do this for me. Let God know what you're thinking, what you're planning, but you're not enforcing it to God because it can be changed. That's why we call it dialogue. Say, God, I have this plan. I don't know if that's what you want. I'm ready to let go. I'm ready to take whatever you are, but I have this. Because God wants you to engage your brain. I said it before. God gives you brain for you not to disturb him. God gives you brain so you won't disturb him. Number five, as we round up this morning, it is good for you to be ready to connect daily. It is good for you to be ready to receive daily. It is good for you to be ready to commune daily. It is good for you to be ready to dialogue daily. But it's much, much good for you to be ready to be vulnerable daily. Vulnerable daily. Your daily vulnerability is the key. You must be vulnerable. You must be vulnerable. God, the incarnation presence of God, calling deity of God, Jesus, he needs to reconnect every day, Mark 135, to be able to be useful. So I'm saying all that to say that... Uh, Without devotion, your level of usefulness might not, might not be up to what, up to task or up to date. So this morning, don't forget anything if you forget this. For you to live an extraordinary life, you must be ready to connect 
to the invisible God. That's the way I summarize what I have to say today. What have you heard? Okay. Thank you everybody for those who have listened this morning, for those who are listening for the first time, for those who have been blessed, and for those who I cannot reach today. Uh, thank you for listening. I know some people are finding it hard to connect. I know some people say, uh, I don't understand it. Yes, it's okay if you don't understand. Maybe because you are just joining for the first time. And it's okay if you understand. Maybe, 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 maybe. You need to come again. So tomorrow, same time, same place. 7 a.m. Nigerian time, 1 a.m. Central time, American time. And uh, guess what? I will be here waiting for you on another episode, on another podcast called Talk to Life. The purpose of Talk to Life uh, is to make you to speak to yourself. It's to know that there are things God has provided even before you are born for you. He has provided for you. But there are things you need to do when you come to your senses. So when your responsibility comes alongside with God's provision, life will give you what you desire. You deserve, sorry. I don't know why I keep missing that. Life will give you what you deserve. You deserve whatever you want. But you deserve whatever you think that belongs to you. So it is a responsibility that makes you to desire. They deserve it. But uh, it is your talk, talking about it alone. That make you to desire it. So you can desire it, but you, are you deserving it? So that is the subject that I say every day. Ask yourself. Talk to life. Don't allow somebody else to talk to you. You talk to them. It's good to hear from a pastor, motivational speaker, inspirational speaker. But that is not the key. The key here is this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Thank you. Thank you. I pray that the hand of God will be upon you. That God will strengthen you even today as you proceed to start or to end this month in a grand style. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Remember, you are designed for royalty and you cannot afford to settle for less. Once again, my name is Roti Me. I did a call. Please join us tomorrow. And if you are yet to register for the two-day masterclass for ladies and third total freedom, you are missing out. Look at this book of speaker. Myself, my wife, Paul Ford, Kemi Oye, Moriah, uh, Hidden, Patient Ukon, Temi Tokba David, Ty Ward, and Tolani. You don't want to go and recite those people. You see that they are the best in their field. Thank you and thank you. Guess what? You are designed for royalty and you cannot afford to settle for less. Once again, thank you and I will see you when I see you come tomorrow. God bless you.